a warmer weekend is in the forecast, but how long will the higher temperatures stick around? Here's 19 First Alert meteorologist Jeff Tanchek. Okay, First Alert meteorologist Jeff Tanchek with you here. Uh, so we're going to look at the uh, overall view of the country here. Tomorrow set up. This is for tomorrow afternoon and kind of interesting here. So we have this area of low pressure that's basically going to cut off itself. Okay, we call this a, a cutoff low or an upper level low. And this is what's giving snow uh, to the Rockies today, tonight, tomorrow here. Uh, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. Meanwhile, look at where the uh, the main branch of the jet stream is. It's all the way to the north here. So eastern half of the country warmer than normal and we call this a blocking weather pattern where things are not moving much at all uh, currently across the country. This is why over the weekend we get to enjoy a couple of sun filled days here. Pleasant during the day, a little chilly at night. This is tomorrow and the uh, the orange that you see here. These contours represent 70s and look at this on Sunday. Uh, the, some of the warmest air may even be up in southern Minnesota here. Then things start to shift east. So Monday, Tuesday could very well be the two warmest days coming up. The energy from that upper low that I showed you, well, it'll be weakened, uh, but it'll start to come in on Tuesday. And then we have some type of cold front on Wednesday that'll be rolling through. So we could get a little rain from that. Little hiccup potentially Thursday. Uh, as we cool things down, but don't look now, but this time next week, heading into next weekend, we could be looking at another warming trend around here. In fact, this is the forecast October 25th, all the way up to Halloween and uh, much of the country warmer than normal. Uh, you're still a little cooler than normal there in the Pacific Northwest. Average high today, 63. Could we be warmer into Halloween? We'll have to find out.